the feeling of wonder, I think, that sometimes happens in that control room is, is so palpable uh, when we come across a creature that no one's ever seen before. When a scientist calls in from onshore and says, oh my gosh, guys, I think this is a new species. Finding and discovering those things uh, is, is something that I think someone has to take on. Um, and, and I think it's a very critical role for us to serve. ton of effort and a mandate for us to explore and to explore. Alaska particularly, I think there's a lot of stuff that is still unknown and so we're really excited to shed some light into those regions that haven't had a ton of um, a ton of work in the past because it is so remote. We're trying to drive the creation of hypotheses. So we need to collect data for people to be able to know what's next to explore and what they want to investigate. By providing this data, we're hopeful that's gonna drive a lot of follow-up expeditions, a lot of follow-up exploration, really fill those gaps. We're gonna be doing um, remotely operated vehicle dives during the day, which means we're gonna take D2 and Sirius down to the depths of the sea floor and see what we can see. And then we're gonna be mapping overnight. A lot of the things that we're looking for right now is to investigate seep communities and seeing what we can find. We're also gonna be looking through the water column to see what interesting animals and fauna that we can see there. The number of dives that we've made is phenomenal, but it's infinitesimal compared to the amount of unexplored ocean that's out there. The work out here that we're doing, I think, is, is really at the forefront or the pioneering edge of exploration, which is exciting because we don't know what we'll find. Mm -hmm.